they live for. They work for. Man, I hate babysitting this building. All the action's on the other side of the planet. You wouldn't last ten seconds out there. Our rookies get this job anyway. You should be happy. We don't even have a commanding officer out here to tell you you're an idiot. Yeah, right. That's my job. What the hell's going on over there? It's probably just an old satellite. There used to be thousands up there. For the gravity tech took him down anyway. From what I've heard, we'd have even better than that if Earth actually accepted some of the stuff that other planets have made. Man, I heard that hey, Spall. Shh. Am I supposed to burn up by now? Yeah, well, whatever it is, it's gonna be on the ground pretty quick. Sorensen has been sent to accompany you on this mission for security reasons, Garrett. And of course, insurance that the job is carried out as specified. Follow the waypoints until you reach the power station. That station must come down in order to disable Earth's off-planet communications. Take out any patrols along the way. They won't be expecting you and are probably light in numbers. Short range communications won't work within a three kilometer proximity for us or them as long as it's operational. So I wouldn't worry about reinforcements unless you let a patrol get away. After your job is complete, you'll be required to lay low until the invasion has begun and extraction is possible. No comms and no vets? Must be a milk run. Even for a young regimental like you. Not that young. Just got my aging shot a little early, that's all. Sort of like you. Really? Well, how old are you then, Miss Hotshot? How many wars you fought in for that Damien Reynolds guy leading your planet? 53 this month. Two wars as a comms officer. But there are plenty of sims for battle, though. And I'm ready. I'll miss two times comms officer of battle and sims expert. Be glad you're with me for your first real war. 158 years military service. The last 230 working as a merc. And as long as your boss is paying me the most, your ass is in good hands. No way. You're saying you've been around as long as the aging shots? And fighting the whole time? That's insane. Not quite my whole life, kid. Started out wanting to save lives. I was a doctor back then. After a while you realize that what's really broken isn't physical at all. And you stop trying to save humanity. There we go. See them up there? Yep. Split up in flank. Quick and easy. Nah. Let's just say hello. What are you doing?
Don't worry guys, as soon as I'm done here, your radios will be working again. You'll be able to call for help. Shouldn't we just kill them and move on? They're just Earth soldiers. They might blow our cover. Nah. That group over to eight already heard the shot. But they didn't send anyone back for help, so we're free to mop them up. You able to handle the left? I could take the whole group. Sure you could. Why you always got screwed? So, I never did find out your number. Let's take a look. Twenty-seven, huh? Expected you to be one of the first of his clones, given what you were doing back when you met me. Don't remember me? I'll tell you what. I don't know what Damien has you doing here on Earth, and I'll deal with him soon enough. But I'm gonna let you relive part of that day that I met you. Look familiar? Cost me an arm, leg, and three years trying to find it. But I did. <laughs> 